Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. On this channel, we cut through the hype and the noise to give you the non-biased information you can use to make informed decisions. Now, this is not clickbait. There's a good chance that Quant is going to integrate AI into the network. Now, I'm going to walk you through why I think that because I don't like to shill a project or get into the drama and all the craziness where people start to link in crypto. But this has a lot of merit. And no matter what, because of what rabbit hole I went down today, this is a very, very positive quant video. And if you stay with me at the end, We'll go through the chart and see if it's time to stack some more quant. Now, I'm really curious, guys, if you think this has merit. So either way, let me know what you think in the comment section. Now, here's how all this started. I have a subscriber that owns a pretty good bag of quant. She sent me a lot of crazy information threads about people talking about Gilbert Verdian getting fired. And you know how the gossip is on the Twitter, Twitter net and all that. So that sent me down the rabbit hole. And I'm glad it did, even though it took a lot of my day away from me. I'm glad I went down this rabbit hole because I uncovered some really cool information. Let me share it with you. Now, first of all, about Gilbert Verdian getting fired, it was from the Digital Pound Foundation. And from going down the rabbit hole, getting all the information, basically, from what I can tell, he just stepped down from the board. And quite frankly, I think he resigned because he's just too busy. Now, you've got two other executives like Andrew Carrier and Martin Hargrave that are on the board. So, guys, I don't think it's an issue at all. Now, one thing she did was send me a TikTok video of a guy doing a lot of work trying to link what Gilbert is up to. And he uncovered two different corporations that Gilbert Verdian is a partner in. And it has to do with AI and cyber security with the military. Well, you know, that when you hear that kind of stuff online, you know, you got to take it with a grain of salt. But of course, I went down the rabbit hole. And I'll be honest, the guy in TikTok spent a lot of time going through his. And I just hit a few buttons and kind of, it was kind of easy to verify that this really has a lot of merit. Now, for sure, no if and buts about it. Gilbert Verdian is one of the founders or owners of Trudera Corporation, right? Now, check out their mission. We're on a mission to bring intelligent AI to enterprise. Well, when you scroll down, look who's on the team, Gilbert Verdian. And you can go into how, you know the percent of what he owns and all that if you want to dig deeper. but. I know he is a partner and he's on the team for whatever that's worth. Now, here's the TikTok video, and I'm not going to get into it, but he linked and linked and linked. And there is a indirect or direct partnership with Salience, the world's first cyber AI. And when you watch this video, they are working with the U.S. military with like cyber intelligence and crypto. So guys, that's really, really interesting. And then when I went to that corporation's website, hold on, it basically talked about, uh, hold on, it talks about, um, sorry about that guys. It says we package it with electronics, da da da. Basically, they have a high speed multi chip processor that accelerates exponential advances in AI. 
So we know that Gilbert is affiliated with this corporation as well. Now, that's enough of that. I don't know. Let me know what you think about the AI. I would just have to think that if Gilbert is, you know, the founder of Quant and he is traveling around the world, you know, he, he's a world class guy when it comes to connections and just being a leader in crypto. And then he's on, he's owns or affiliated with two different corporations that are into AI. I would think that they're going to start bringing AI in to help them figure out interoperability. That's just a thought for whatever that's worth. Now, but when I was digging into that, I uncovered a little bit of old news, but I want to share it with you. You may have heard about it or you haven't, but I hadn't. And it really got me excited. And guys, I really have been studying how the overledger works and the interoperability, the difference between quant and link and the difference between the ledgers. So I'm really, really starting to understand this stuff better and better. And the more you understand, the more you like quant. But anyway, let me read something. This is old news. It's a couple years old. It says, SIA is a leading infrastructure which has 2,000 plus financial institutions and 570 banks connected to their own wired network. And they will be using the overledger for interoperability. And it says the interoperability is for the banks and financial institutions. Now, here's what I found interesting. And, you know, I know a lot of people that are out there that are tribal. They don't like to hear positive things when it has anything to do with, say, XRP. But I found this quote pretty interesting. After they made this announcement with SIA and Quant, Gilbert Verdian sent out a text in his telegram. And this is what it says. It says, this is what Ripple with XRP, Stellar with XLM, and partnering with IBM have been trying to do. Well, this is a game changer we've been working on. We're, we're bringing blockchain interoperability to the 570 banks that SIA work with. But guys, that if I'm reading that right, they're saying, XRP was trying to do it, XLM was trying to do it, and Quant made it happen. But no matter what, guys, the more stuff I read about how the uh, DLT technology is tied in with Quant, guys, no matter what you have, whether you have Ripple connected, XLM con connected, pretty much any entity, you can almost guess that there is an above average chance that quant is a part of that interoperability. I mean, across everything with Web3. And if they're not using quant, you can bet they're using link. But a lot of times, if I'm understanding it right, they're using both. But I'm telling you guys, I really believe that quant is probably the number three best risk reward out there outside of everything when you really add in to a project like if i had to hold something long term which i go bull run to bull run quant would definitely be one that i would consider it is an absolutely great project now sia is basically has a decentralized storage and check this out guys for whatever this is worth, a lot of people, you know, in crypto, they only follow the projects like XRP or XLM or XDC or HBAR. But guys, I'm here to tell you, I'm guessing, but it's a very educated guess because it's hard to track. You know, we know what like XDC is doing. We know what XRP is doing, XLM is doing. But guys, the biggest production out there of really what's going to dominate banking is all these private chains 
Look at uh, Saya Chain. No one's ever even heard of them, or at least no one's talking about a private, the private blockchain for financial institutions, corporations, and public administration using basically distributed ledger technology. Now, that's not a negative. I've said this over and over. All that interoperability and connectivity is where your so called banking tokens with real world utility are going to really get their share. But from what I'm seeing, guys, in cross border payments and when they start tokenizing assets, it's going to be on the big private blockchains like JP Morgan, Sia Chain, uh, that company, uh, Tezzeret, I believe it is, that I did a video about uh, a couple of weeks ago about but guys that's not a bad thing but it is what it is and i really wish there was a lot less tribalism in crypto so we could have some intellectual conversations and really try to figure how this big puzzle works out but anyway guys no matter how this shakes out i'm here to tell you quant is one of the key players no if and buts about it in interoperability in all the crypto to do with everything. So, and with the tokenomics, I can't be more bullish about quant. Now, again, I go bull run to bull run, but I have no doubt with its tokenomics, it's going to take out this old high, changing gears. I wouldn't be surprised if it 2x or 3x from that old high easily now that's just my personal opinion right now we're at about a hundred and three dollars now the support is right at a hundred just under a hundred if it breaks that support which could be by the end of the week with all the craziness going on in crypto there's really nothing stopping quant from going back down to the low of last year now that is what I'm hoping for. Like I know a lot of people, they don't like their projects to go down, but guys, I wish Quant would hit the floor. I wish it'd go back down under a dollar. I would just load the boat. Look, guys, we got plenty of time, in my opinion, till the next bull run starts. I think at best, we may pump short term because of all the craziness with the bank and that pumps Bitcoin. But guys, I think something's going to break no matter what there's nothing positive not one single thing positive going on in the global economy or in the American economy economy so these markets are probably going to go sideways to down for the next couple of months if we're lucky something will break and you can run in and grab more quant way under a hundred bucks that's what gets me excited anyway I know I'm rambling let me know what you think about in the comments section. I don't know if Quant is going to bring in AI, but it just makes sense. Actually, guys, it makes sense for AI to be affiliated across the board. You can set up an AI to study interoperability, all the blockchains, and tell you what it needs and write the code. And if Gilbert, who is highly intelligent, is affiliated, with two different corporations that are specializing in different things to do with AI. It just makes sense that it would come, that he would bring it to Quant. Anyway, let me know what you think. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit that like button. And either way, come back and be part of this community. And remember, not financial advice. Take care, guys.